Tomorrow will be seven months uh, to date of the operation on October 21st. And, you know, I, I feel really good. Uh, I've done some extreme rehab in Delaware, in LA, in Milan. And, you know, uh, thankfully I'm, I'm at the point right now that I can compete and I'm training regularly and I'm, I'm game fit right now. You know, I've, like I told you, I've been, I've been training extremely hard and, and, and working a lot on my fitness. I've been doing double days while I was in Milan to, to so the rust factor won't be an issue. You know, I've been working a lot on playing and my touch and technical and positioning and, and all that other stuff that goes around with playing. So I don't think right now, um, if, you, if you watch training, I don't think you can say I'm behind anybody else in terms of my speed of play or, or anything else like that. I feel, I feel fit and um, you know, I'm thankful that I was given the opportunity to, to be part of this World Cup. There, there was a lot of you know, soul searching and, 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 and what have you now because it's not easy to watch your, your teams play and you watch on TV or, or you know, watch a game of football and knowing that you're not capable of doing that just yet. So. There was a lot of uh, internal motivation and, and from support from my friends and family to, to push me along the way. I think mentally I'm a stronger player based on the things I had to subdue in terms of the rehab process. And, you know, anybody that's come back from any kind of injury serious would tell you that it's not easy at all to, to get through it. It's painful. Um, day in and day out, you know, the, motive, the dedication that you have to put in order to, to come out on top, you know, it's, it's not easy. Um, I've, I've worked a lot on elements of my game. I've had time to work a lot on elements of my game that perhaps weren't up to par and, and beforehand. And um, if I'm to play next Tuesday, you know, I'm definitely you know, uh, excited about it. It's been a long time, you know, since, since I've been in a game situation. And, you know, it, it, it's, I'm sure there's going to be a little nerves for me, you know, the first minute or two, but after that, you know, it's, you're going to see the same gooch that you saw seven months ago. You know, right now, I think this, this whole period before the game is really important. Uh, I think not only for the coaching staff, for the players to, to kind of get familiar to each other once again. You know, right now we've been focusing a lot on our uh, physical condition. And, you know, once that passes, you know, we can get down to the nitty gritty in terms of playing and positioning. But these three games, in essence, will be very important in terms for the coaches to evaluate where players are or who's at their best form and, and so on and so forth. So I think they're going to use the friendly games. I don't like to call them friendly games because there's really no friendly game for me, but the friendly games to, to assess each individual player and, and, and see who is at their best right now and who can help the team the most. Well, personally, I, if, if, if given the opportunity to play, I want to I wanna show to everybody, you know, because I'm sure they're I'm sure you read blogs and you read magazine articles or newspaper articles that a lot of people are saying that uh, I won't come back like I was. And, you know, I'm going to go out there and agree with them. I won't come back how I was. I'm going to come back stronger. And I, I don't think right now I'm the same player I was seven months ago, regardless of what anybody thinks. And, and uh, I think I'm going to use this year, 2010, to, to prove that. Obviously, you know, it's two completely different teams. Um, the 2006 World Cup consisted a lot, a lot more of uh, different veterans that don't play anymore, you know. And, and at that time, I was the, the newcomer, the youngster in the, in the group. And right now, I'd, I don't like to say I'm old, but <laughs> I'm, I'm one of the, the veterans, quote unquote, uh, of, the, of, this, of this cycle. Um, I think both teams were very, very talented. Um, I think this team has more of a, a, a youth to it. Which, which can help us, and I hope hopefully it will uh, coming in this World Cup. But, you know, aside from those differences, I don't think there's many that I, you'd want to touch on. There were quality players in the last group with Claudio Reyna, uh, Eddie Poe, Brian McBride, you know. And I think, you know, we have you know, equally talented players with uh, Michael Bradley in the midfield, you know, Josie Altador up top, Carlos Bocanegra, Steve Trondolo, Tim Howard, you know. So I don't think we've there, there, there was any kind of drop in quality or in talent in terms of the, 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 the two cycles. Germany, it was hard to swallow um, because I felt that we definitely had a better team than the results would have shown. Uh, in the first game, losing 3-0 to, to Czech Republic, you know, regardless of what you want to say of the game, 
I don't feel that the game was a 3-0 game. You know, I think that we competed with them for most of the part. You know, they definitely scored three really good goals. And you know, but we hit the post, and that might have changed the outcome of the game if it would have gone in. Uh, the, the Italy game with the red cards came thrown out there, you know, and, and us being able to come come out of that game, you know, tying uh, the team that eventually won the World Cup, you know, that was a big feat. And then playing Ghana, I think we definitely um, there was a, a injustice in terms of the penalty that they that they gave when well, they actually they, they called against me. That uh, I still to this day don't know where the foul came from, but you know, um, I'm not looking back on that now. You know, it's. It's in the past, and I actually have forgotten all about it. And you know, it's, it, it is what it is, and you, you you live and learn. And hopefully, this this time around, um, the results will be different, and we'll be able to advance a little further in, in the World Cup.